Before I have our last speaker come up here, um, we have an unusual greeting solidarity statement, a uh, very brief one, from a group of uh, fellows who are organizing from literally um, the bowels of the belly of the beast uh, of the empire from death row. And we thought it only appropriate that Yusuf Salam, a man who I hope one day will not be known by the worst thing that's probably ever happened to him in his life, to be thrown onto the front pages of every newspaper in this country in 1989 at the age of 15 for a crime he did not commit, the rape of a woman in Central Park, and to spend your life being known as the Central Park jogger, rapist. Uh, I, I can't imagine what that must be like. Um, he did not do that crime. He spent seven years in jail, and an entire uh, industry uh, and language and vernacular that entered our vernacular at the time of wilding came about as a result of him. It was on the papers uh, for people who were not around to remember 19 years ago uh, for weeks and months, and uh, it was utterly disgusting. Yusuf Salam, please come up here and read that statement. Good evening. Drive, death row, inner communalist vanguard engagement is a group of men on death row who organized to fight for better conditions on death row and in opposition to capital, to capital punishment. They engage in nonviolent direct action protests to demand change. The campaign to end the death penalty is involved in this campaign to save the life of one of DRIVE's founding members, Kenneth Foster, who has an execution date of August 30th. The campaign in the death penalty and others are on a mission to stop that from happening. Kenneth was 19, sent to death row for driving a car, literally, literally driving a car. He didn't even kill anyone. But see, Texas has a law that states that you can be convicted under the law of parties. Your presence makes you guilty. This is what the law of party is about. This is a statement of solidarity sent to Socialism 2007 on behalf of DRIVE. We revolutionaries fight because we feel that inaction in the face of injustice is nothing less than consent. We fight here on Texas death row because we do not understand, we do not only understand, we not, we do, we not only understand that capital punishment is a race and class issue that is utilized by the state as a tool of social control, but because we also understand that all struggle is interconnected. The death penalty is a working class issue, an injustice that should be fought against, <laughs> just as we fight against the brutal occupation of Iraq for immigrant rights and in opposition to all forms of oppression. Sadly enough, most anti-death penalty organizations have refused to support our actions on the inside, which they consider radical. They feel we should follow the rules and abandon all forms of civil disobedience. Our comrades with the ISO have shown their active support of DRIVE's ongoing protest, which involves complete disregard and unrepenting breaking of the precious rules <laughs> of this deplorable system. <laughs> the ISO and our Austin comrades have has also shown that they deeply feel the injustice that is the death penalty through the relentless support they have shown us. By the way, much love to Paul D'Amato for his meaning of Marxism. <laughs> Our 
Much love to the socialist worker, and much love to ISR, who have helped me define my personal political outlook more clearly. In turn, Drive extends to the ISO and everyone else at, Socialism 2000, at the Socialism 2007 conference. Our unwavering solidarity. Look into the eyes of the person next to you. They are your comrades, our comrades, the future we are fighting to build. And in the spirit of this fight, the struggle to liberate all oppressed peoples of the world will send each and every one of you an embrace of solidarity and resistance. This is from the trenches of death row, with strength and love, Rob Will from the Drive Movement.